ISIS has claimed responsibility for the terror attack on Christmas shoppers in Berlin. That truck attack has heightened security concerns here in the U.S., where federal officials and local police are already on alert. In November, the State Department warned Americans traveling abroad to be extra careful. That message was reiterated today. In the meantime, President-elect Donald Trump is calling for terrorists like these to be eradicated. And only on two tonight, we spoke with an American woman from the Washington, D.C. area who was spending part of her, vaca her vacation in Berlin. She came uncomfortably close to being caught up in that terrorist attack. I was walking back to my hotel and I noticed three ambulances rush by and I thought that was unusual. Veronica Vaquer was vacationing in Berlin when a truck driver plowed into a crowded Christmas market, killing 12 and injuring almost 50. It was very hard to absorb and wrap my head around that something terrible had happened um, not that far away. In fact, she was staying only three subway stops away and had visited the market days before the attack. It was very upsetting to realize I'd been at that exact same place around the same time, only two nights earlier. Um, it was it was shocking. Now a memorial is forming in front of the church where the terror attack happened. And today, a setback in the case. The person being questioned by police set free because of a lack of evidence. Authorities now admit the killer could still be on the loose, upsetting news for Veronica. I you know, was at first comforted when I thought they had the person in custody. And then this afternoon when I, when the reports came out that they likely had the wrong person, I felt nervous again. Now, Veronica is still in Berlin. She says that by and large, things are getting back to normal now. People are going about their business there, but she is still nervous about traveling during the remainder of her trip in Europe. Keith.